Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to uh, record a lecture on uh, a topic, very important topic that is time management. Nowadays I am seeing so many deliveries are happening over different platforms which are paid deliveries and people are spending hefty amount to learn this time management skill. So that's why I have decided to just uh, give this uh, lecture or uh, make it available to everybody free of cost. So today's agenda that is what we are going to do today is first two minute I will speak about my books that is success in you and journey from mediocrity to excellence. I will raise three big questions which are relevant to this topic of time management. Then I will discuss uh, uh, about the rules of taking charge of time I will say and uh, next one uh, is sharing 18 very very important rules with examples and short stories which will make the subject uh, interesting. So let's start <coughs> one by one. Golden rules I call it like golden rules of taking charge of your time. So first rule, rule one is maintain logbook of your time. Everyone if you just watch in your mother's kitchen then she also used to maintain a budget that means she also like uh, keep a record of the things that means how much money should be spent on what items so how many of you have heard of uh, the term logbook this logged logbook term has came from the people basically who are into the business of driving. I used to travel uh, when I was AGM uh, with some bank. So uh, I saw in different places like Jaipur, uh, Rajasthan, uh, Calcutta, Chennai, there the drivers uh, used to record, they uh, used to maintain a journal of their journey. That means from where they have started and their, the destination throughout the day, right? Everything they, they just keep a record of that. So why I am saying the rule one is maintaining logbook of your time? That means you will have to like maintain the the activities that you are doing throughout the day you just need to record the activities at least for 10 days without going through what exactly is happening inside you will have to just note down that this much of time you are spending on this this much of time you are spending on this activity and so on and you will have to make make a complete schedule like for 24 hours what exactly you did today you just slept for eight hours you uh, uh, went to school and attended the school there you spent six hours and the rest of the time uh, you studied at home you went to you went for tuitions and whatever you need to just maintain the logbook of your time See, ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly as simple as that. Have you seen when somebody goes to the doctor, sometimes to diagnose the disease, what doctor used to do? They used to prescribe a X-ray or a CT scan or an MRI or a treadmill test. Why is it so? Because they just want to go inside the exact cause of the problem. So when you are maintaining 
the exact time like the time slots you are spending on different types of activities after 10 days or so when you will analyze your whole chart your daily chart you will come to know those activities which are exactly the time killers those are the activities uh, which are killing your time your precious time and if you just watch it properly you will come to know that these are the activities which I shouldn't do and the time saved by avoiding these activities will be invested in different types of uh, productive activities that will create or add value in your life right so come to the rule two rule two is make your study goal this is specifically for students but sometimes uh, other people can relate it to uh, in their life also right so exactly what happens students generally i have seen and monitored that almost if i just quote it in percentile percentile the 90 percent of students used to have a general goal like I will study uh, for a long hours today or I will run f faster today right uh, that means there is no clear cut uh, uh, like goal they are having this is a generalized goal I will study hard now exactly they haven't defined it but 5 to 10 percent students used to draw or chalk out their specific goals now how these specific goals will look like like i will study eight hours today so if in any case if a student is not able to study for eight hours and he studied in a particular day just for six hours then what exactly will happen that you will come to know if he has studied eight or uh, uh, six hours in spite of the decided specific goal of eight hours that means he is short of two hours he studied two hours less than whatever he has decided <clears throat> so in case of specific goals you can measure it exactly whether you are exactly at par to that you that specific goal or not now let's understand it uh, with a uh, with an example there was a sales manager his wife was hospitalized for some time for a long time and uh, you understand you can understand that if somebody's uh, family member is hospitalized then the productivity of that member should come down because there is a mental pressure right because uh, he has to do all the household chores or he is his um, his mental state will not be that much of stable that he can invest or he can just do or he can focus on uh, his work thoroughly so that sales manager during the hospitalization of his wife achieved triple the target what is being given by the management now this was really surprising for his boss too his boss called him up and asked uh, mr xyz i am very surprised that your wife is hospitalized and you might be having mental pressure but in spite of that you just achieved triple the target so what exactly is the uh, the exact means uh, what exactly is the cause means uh, can you just share with us he said it's very simple the hospital bill 
was in my bag and I knew it that for paying this hospital bill, I will have to do that much of sales. So are you getting the point? Let us understand it uh, differently in a very practical way. Say for example, <clears throat> there is a shopkeeper, he wants to earn 20,000 per month, listen it carefully. There was a shopkeeper who wants to earn 20,000 per month and he is selling a calculator for example, right or anything and he knows that by selling a calculator, he will earn rupees 100. Now he opens the shop for 25 days, right? So he wants to earn 20,000 and 100 rupees from single product selling. That means he will have to sell how much? 200 products, right? 200 into 100 that comes to 20,000, correct? So, 200 products and he is opening the shop for 25 days. So, 200 products in 25 days that means 200 divided by 25 that comes to 8 products daily. That means he will have to sell 8 products daily and if he will be able to do that, then he can earn 20,000 for sure. But for example, in day 1, he could not sell even a single product. Then in rest of the 24 days, he will have to manage this shortfall. So, uh, in the second, third, for example, in the second day, he sold in spite of, instead of 8 products, he sold 16 products. So, he just covered up the shortfall of the day 1. So, so are you understanding? So, these specific goals are clearly measurable goals. And when the goals are measurable, uh, it is not very difficult uh, and uh, for the person who really wants to achieve that goal, right? How many of you are fond of uh, watching cricket? You might have seen that a team, first team who has batted and made or scored uh, 200 runs in 20 hours, for example. So it is very clear that for the second team, they will have to just score uh, 200 divided by 25 overs that comes to or 20 overs that come, just take it 20 overs, right. So 200 runs in 20 overs, so 200 divided by 20 that comes to 10 runs per over. That means this team will have to score 10 runs per over in that case they will be able to uh, achieve this target of 200 runs right so this is the magic of just making specific goals now let's come to the next rule <coughs> that is rule 3 do most important work first see work finished at last by a fool is finished by a wise man immediately. There is a difference. Both of them do the same work. Difference only is of time only. Correct? Right. Let us understand it differently. There was a violin maestro, right? She, she was a lady and she was fond of playing violin. But what exactly was the modus operandi or the practice? that she used to do all the household chores in the beginning of her day and after completing all those household chores like mopping, cleaning the house, washing clothes and uh, uh, cleaning the kitchen, uh, preparing food, 
then whatever time she was having left she used to practice violin and she was not very much satisfied right so he just she, she just changed her strategy she just understood that she should give priority to violin too so from the next day she started playing violin first she started practicing violin first and then the time left she used to do all the household chores and you will be surprised to know that she uh, 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 brought laurels and uh, she become a very renowned violin maestro there uh, i just want to quote one thing he spent he spent his entire life pulling water from empty well and now he is spending his old age uh, drawing the bucket up if there is no water inside the well and you are trying to just uh, pull water out of it how you can just this this this, this entire exercise is vain and the most sad words written or told by people i could do this so ladies and gentlemen always do the most important work first this priority listing is a very important whatever you are doing whatever you are going to do in the beginning of your day you need to decide that this is important these are the 3 4 or 5 of jobs activities these are extremely important one by one you need to just close those activities then you need to shift on another uh, activities right come to the rule 4 that is very important rule understand pareto's 80 20 rule it is extremely important and very interesting too uh, uh exactly uh, pareto exactly was an italian economist right and uh, he observed in his country that 80% of the wealth is with 20% of the population only he just uh, applied this philosophy and found that 80% of the p production is coming out of the 20% of uh, of the p pots in his garden so he just studied over it and he found that this 80 20 rule but i am uh, to be very specific uh, into this that this 80 20 rule is uh, not exactly 80 20 it could vary it is exactly uh, it is a principle of unbalance like it could be 65 35 it could be 90 10 right so this and the most important thing this is not a law just like ohm's law or a gravitation law this is not a law right so he said that uh, you will also observe it uh 80% of the uh popularity the actors are getting or fame the actors are getting those are only 20% actors 80% of the royalty earned by only 20% of the authors 80% of the accidents are done by only 20% of the drivers 80% of the traffic jam is happening in 20% of the roads isn't it surprising 80% of the uh it in 80% of your time you just used to wear those 20% selected clothes rest 80% clothes are used once or twice very rarely because those are your favorite clothes so you used to wear 20% of the clothes in your 80% of your time so from there uh, uh, this principle has been like came out uh let me quote with you uh, uh, an example like i just want to upload a video in youtube now what i will have to do i will have to read a book because i need a content read a book prepare notes then i will have to prepare the script final script then 
ऑडियो वीडियो देन थंबनेल एंड देन फाइनली अपलोड बट दिस एग्जैक्टली वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द ट्वेंटी परसेंट विच इज गिविंग मी एटी परसेंट रिजल्ट दैट इज स्क्रिप्ट एंड ऑडियो वीडियो राइट दैट इज द ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो यू विल हैव टू फाइंड आउट योर ट्वेंटी परसेंट विच कैन गिव यू एटी परसेंट ऑफ द रिजल्ट बींग बिजी इज नॉट इनफ बिकॉज इवन द एंड्स आर ऑलवेज बिजी बिगर क्वेश्चन इज इन वॉट वी आर और यू आर बिजी इन टू फॉर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई जस्ट कैटेगराइज स्टूडेंट्स इन फोर क्वार्रेंट्स फर्स्ट क्वार्रेंट स्टूडेंट्स आर दो स्टूडेंट्स वो डजेंट केयर of classes they are totally careless students right uh, even before the exam starting time they uh, they just open up the book one two days earlier right and sometimes i have seen that they are not aware of the subject names also they are not aware of the subject names also so uh, those are the students that low effort low reward quadrant students i call it first quadrant second quadrant is uh is high effort but low reward students these students are exactly those students who are just like uh, sitting in a Uh, in uh, in opposite direction in the driver seat and used to say that there is no steering in the car exactly why i am saying so because you might have seen some students used to go to the school regularly attending classes regularly right but they are distracted they are unfocused and at the end of the session when they get low marks or they are not able to perform uh, good their parents used to say that our children used to do so much of hard work in spite of this they are not doing well or they are under performer there must be some problem with the school ladies and gentlemen there is no problem with the school there is problem with the kid only that he is distracted third quadrant high effort and high reward right high effort and high reward these are the students these are top 10 students of the class they do they attend most of the classes right they uh, do lot of hard work 8 to 10 hours daily right they are very sincere students attend all the classes focus students and it is very obvious they good they get good marks and becomes doctors and engineers fourth quadrant is exactly i call it as the quadrant of pareto fourth quadrant is low effort and high reward now these are the students who just understand pattern of questions right they they strategize the thing they adopt different types of techniques like feeman technique right chunking chunking technique right then a pomodoro technique so they use different types of technique identify the pattern right and they just strategize the things they cut short the things they 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 understand uh, uh, what questions is been asked from last 5 to 10 years right so in that way they study and they score good marks right so this is exactly a pareto quadrant so ladies and gentlemen understand your uh, 20% which can give you 80% of the result so this is rule 4 this is an excellent rule come to the next rule that is rule 5 take advantage of parkinson's rule 
Now, Professor C. N. Parkinson has given a very relevant rule. What he says, time expands or contracts, right? According to the work in hand, right? Time expands or contracts according to the work in hand. Bad news is time flies, but the good news is that you are the pilot of it. Uh, you might, your parents might be working in some government or some other sector. You might have seen that when they get travel leave for a, for seven days or ten days in, 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 the, in the whole year, right, working out throughout the year. So they are very much excited at that point of time. And you, uh, you might have heard from them or you will experience in the coming time that when they get the like leave is sanctioned after seven days. So from today only, I will start working in a very focused and concentrated way that, that the work which is generally completed in, in uh, 30 hours, that will be completed in 10 hours only. Because right now, I am having short time to complete the task and I am focused, right? I am concentrated on that particular task. So that is why th that task is being completed. I, uh, I would like to share with you a short example. X and Y, both were given 100 pages assignment, correct? Both were given 100 pages assignment and, but X is given 30 days of time to complete this assignment while the while y is given only 7 days to complete this assignment of 100 pages right same task time is different only what happened that after the completion of their time period and just going through the assignment it has been found that both of them x and y have got the same uh, uh, grade right so that is A plus grade. X achieved A plus, Y also achieved A, A plus. But the problem was that X was given 30 days while Y was given 7 days. It has been observed that X has wasted most of his time like because he was, he was in a comfort zone, he was leisurely, right. He started exactly actually working on it one week earlier only. But Y knew it that he was having only 7 days, so he was focused from the day one. I'm just, uh, I just uh, want to ask a very uh, a small question from you. For example, you are passing it uh, uh, from a jungle, right? And uh, there is a way, uh, you just saw a black cobra, a deadly snake. But it, uh, it, um, it is not going to harm you. It just crossed the road and went inside the jungle. What you will do? at that point of time. You will just see the thing getting amazed, that is it, right. Second day, you found that kind of deadly snake inside your society, inside your society. Now what will be your reaction? Your reaction will be, you will just intimate the secretary of your building or you will just uh, uh, intimate somebody who is responsible to just uh, manage the things. That is it. Then again you will be busy with your entire day to day work and activities. But for example, next day the same deadly snake you found inside your bedroom. Now what you will do? What will be your preference? Your first preference will be to just evacuate the house from that snake, that deadly snake, right? So here your exactly your preference has changed, right? Your priorities have changed, right? Now your priority is first priority is, is to just catch that snake by the snake catchers and just evacuate uh, from your room that you're from your bedroom. Priority is changed, right? So this is exactly the power of Parkinson's rule. Now, 
we will come to the rule 6 decide deadline for you decide deadline for you deadline how many of you are aware of the term deadline exactly in the old times uh, this uh, the, they were the, uh, the uh, jails were not like surrounded with the boundary walls right so what they used to do the modus operandi was just to draw a line around the jail and if some uh, prisoner uh, crosses or try to cross that line then he will be shoot it simply so that's why it is called that if somebody is crossing that line that he, that will be a deadline for him right but nowadays this this philosophy is has been changed if you are not following the deadline your career can be on stake or your study can be on the stake let's take it in uh, 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 an, uh, another way you just travel one kilometer in six minutes for example but if a deadly bloodhound dog is behind you then it is very uh, much possible that you will be uh, completing that one kilometer lesser than six six minutes isn't so right i'm sharing my example with you uh, when my first book success and you was published it got published in 60 days 60 working days i just uh, tell it more clearly and vividly uh, but when my second book was going to be published that is journey from mediocrity to excellence I knew all the like uh, things um, related to publication. Then I just spoke to the publisher. I told him, see, gentlemen, I want my book to be published within, within seven days only. Everything will be done from your side, but I need it to be published within seven days. And there was some reason behind it, right? I didn't want to like annoy him, but there was some reason because I was having some motivational lecture. Um, so that's why I just told him like that. So he said, okay, we will try. And you will be surprised to know that he did this task within 10 working days only. And the fact is that this task needed only 10 days to complete. In my previous book, in case of my previous book, they have they have taken 60 days unnecessarily it could be completed within 10, 10 days so when there is a deadline things happen uh, within that particular deadline only right so <clears throat> come to the next rule that is rule 7 understand rule of gravitation of losing time rule of gravitation of losing time right when exactly uh, well, when you just jump above the ground what happens you come comes comes down right on the ground because there is a law there is a force which is coming which is coming into power that is the gravitational force which is just pulling you down right Similar is the case when you are going to start something important, you might have observed your mom will call you to do something, your, uh, your friend will come to you, right? Uh, somebody else will call you, you will get a very important WhatsApp call for you, right? So that is the time you need to stop yourself because you are engaged in doing something important. You might have heard. Uh, athlete at Moss. He was 110 meters hurdle uh, race runner, very uh, renowned uh, runner. And when it has been asked to him that uh, Mr. Ed Moss, when, uh, because uh, there is a hurdle of, uh, in every 10 meters. So there are 11 hurdles in 110 meters. So it has been asked, uh, he was a gold medalist, it has been asked that Mr. Ed Moss, that when you run, exactly uh, are you being disturbed by these hurdles he said that i don't see hurdles because my 
I is on the ultimate goal only, that Riven only, right? So I don't see hurdle. So that's why these personalities become so powerful and become achiever. Now somebody who has bought a house, for example, Mr. Saurav has got, got, bought a house, new house, right? And his best friend, Gaurav, he came to his house, knocked house, Saurabh saw from the that uh, vernacular, right? And uh, he just opened the doors. Gaurav is just having a bag uh, on his back. Uh, he just entered into the uh, drawing dining area and thrown out that bag, uh, that entire garbage in his drawing room. What will happen? What Saurabh will do? Saurabh's reaction. Because since he is a good friend of uh, Saurav, so they they will just uh, try to find out the reason, right? And they will tell him that you did wrong because we have bought it. This this can happen, right? Second day, for example, he again came with the same garbage uh, bag, and they opened the door, and the same thing happened, right? What will happen this time, Saurav? will or uh, call to his Gaurav's dad and or his family that he did like this. But for example, in the next day, Gaurav again came with the same bag and now he is just ringing uh, Saurav's uh, uh, doorbell. Now Saurav just saw it uh, from the binocular, what he will do? Now he is not going to open the door. So that should be the philosophy. You need not have to open the door for the people who are just going to uh, waste your time. But you need to be humble enough, right? You just tell your uh, best friend that, see, this is uh, right now I am doing something important. I will come to you, right? And I will just, we will discuss it uh, uh, at this much of time in, or in the evening this time. Right? So. This is the, this is the power. This is the this is the thing. This is the philosophy, right? By which you can just take charge of your time, right? Henry Ford, he what he used to do. Henry Ford uh, was the owner of his company, but in spite of being the owner, he used to go to the manager's cabin and just uh, uh, give his message or talk to them, because he used to say that he was having a freedom to just get up from his cabin and come to his office, right? If somebody else will come to his office, he will uh, sit unnecessarily in his office and his time will be wasted. There was a uh, civil engineer, very renowned civil engineer, I have just uh, uh, studied somewhere, uh, Mr. Brunel, right? And he used to keep one chair in his cabin and his philosophy was, his basically, uh, philosophy was that if somebody uh, comes uh, very important in his uh, cabin, he will offer his chair to him, right? And if somebody uh, comes to him for passing time or some unnecessary gossiping or something, then he sits on his chair. There is no chair inside his, uh, besides that chair. So the another person will just, uh, is bound to uh, convey the message to him only, right? and his time will not be wasted because if somebody one person is sitting another person is standing conversation cannot go long right so his philosophy was totally different another story small story i would like to share with you that is about the uh, german diplomat mr Dis, uh, bismarck right and uh, and and british ambassador uh, there was a british ambassador uh, he just uh, went to this German diplomat, Mr. Bismarck, and he was just talking to him that in daily practice, there were so many people who used to come to you and just uh, there were there are some uh, uh, like people who used to waste your time, how you manage uh, these kind of activities, who are the time killers. He said that I am having a uh, servant, right, when he uh, uh, like uh, hears that somebody is uh, talking uh, all the uh, irrelevant kind of things, 
then he comes to me and say that your wife is calling for something important so he said okay 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 and uh, this entire discussions were going on and his uh, servant came uh, and said sir your wife is just calling you and uh, uh, for something important so you can understand that uh, uh, how these people used to manage their time rule 8 take advantage of newton's first law of motion newton what is newton's first law of motion a thing remains in a state until an outside force applied on it this and discipline is that outside force to transform your life right so uh, rule 9 that is learn to purchase time acha the uh, most important thing is that big big companies factories are running so only the owner is running that factory no there are so many people who are togetherly running that factory and the owner has bought their time he has purchased their time he is paying for that for their time right so that's why these big empires are running mr ambani tata they are running their factories uh, single handedly no there is a big task force which is working for them and they have hired the calibered best calibered people for dealing those tasks right so everybody is having a, a value of their time like somebody is having 100 rupees per hour is the value of a particular person but for for me for example my uh, value per uh, hour for example is uh, Uh, is uh, for example one thousand rupees, and I will have to deposit a bill somewhere. Physically, I will have to go to deposit that bill because there is no, for example, it is, uh, for instance, uh, there is no mechanism to pay that bill online. So I will have to go to deposit that bill, right? I will have to waste my one hour over there, and during this one hour, I can just earn rupees one thousand. So why not to hire somebody else and pay him hundred rupees, and he will just go and deposit the bill. In that case, even I am saving my nine hundred rupees, one thousand less hundred rupees, isn't it? Retired people, they used to travel by uh, passenger train because they are having lot of time. Busy people, they travel by super fast, super fast train because. their time is precious but people who are most busy they used to travel by flight because their time is very very precious so learn to purchase time rule 10 work time is not that important but result is important some of us will do our work in best possible way and others will not but our final assessment will be done on one final factor and that is the end result an employee who is working for 8 hours and getting 8000 salary per month right and he is saying that boss is not paying me sufficient but his boss his employer is knowing it that he is a, he is of 5000 work only and i am paying him 8000 even 3000 higher so either he should be sacked or his his remuneration or salary should be like um, lower right you just tell me taj mahal was built or constructed in 22 years right and your house is constructed in 25 years which 25 years which one is more important taj mahal or yours because in your uh, for building your house 25 years spent but for building taj mahal 22 years spent so work time is not important right result is important this is taj mahal so this is important you have spent 25 hours for building your house that is not very relevant but taj mahal is taj mahal right so result is important right got my point so that's 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 these are the things uh, which are really extremely important uh for your life so uh there are other rules also like uh, uh, uh rule number 11 is identify your prime time and using it effectively now what is prime time 
prime time is uh, uh, you might have seen uh, in TV that 8 to 10 is the prime time, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Why is it prime time? Prime time is all the family is sitting together. That is the time when people are free from all the work and they used to sit in front of the TV. And the more the spectators, more the watching people, that means the these advertisements and these 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 things will be communicated to the more people. That is when it is called the prime time. Similar is the case uh, scenario. This could be the scenario uh, for you too, right? You can just find out your prime time. It could be that morning 4 a.m. Uh, could be the prime time where when your productivity uh, will be uh, higher. For some, I have heard that uh, after 10 p.m. at night, 10 to 12 is their prime time. So you need to identify your prime time. What is the prime time? And then you need to invest your energy or you need to do the most important work during that prime time. Rule 12. Maximum utilization of your travel time. Addition, addition experimentation in train. Uh, used to experiment uh, in his train in his young age. And you know, do you know, he has patented 2500 inventions. These are the patented inventions, 2500 inventions. In his young age, he used to travel by the local train and he used to just like uh, uh, do the experiments in the train. He was busy using this his travel time. Bill Gates, uh, he used to manage all the important calls while traveling, right? So this is exactly when you are traveling, you need to uh, hear some important audios, right? You can watch some important videos, right? So you can you can uh, um, he, uh, listen to some um, audio books, relevant audio books, right? So come to the next rule. That is rule thirteen. Prepare timetable timetable for yourself. Generally, uh, some people used to maintain uh, timetable is of two types: short timetable and complete timetable. Short timetable means you have made a timetable for four hours or five hours. That is short timetable. And when you are making a complete like a timetable for you that is like for for the whole day itself then that is called the uh, complete timetable that is rule 13 so come to the rule 14 increase your capability to work capability is like packing clothes in a box good packer always pack double the clothes compared to a bad packer you started uh, learning uh, typing when you were just you just started what was your speed maybe five words per minute but after two years your speed has gone up to 30 words per minute how it happened due to your practice you understood the things you learned different type of skills right so then you just uh, learned all those kind of skills and developed expeditiously a woman is preparing or making food or preparing food in three hours, right? And that also is not tasty enough, right? And on the other side, a woman prepares food in 30 minutes only and that is a really delicious. How it happened? That second lady, that woman has, uh, is, is preparing food from last 30 years, right? So experience count, the capability that the, the, they, uh, she has increased her capability to work. So, next rule, rule 15, sacrifice your present for bright future. If you, if you need honey, ladies and gentlemen, then be prepared for honey be white. I am telling you, if you need honey, then be prepared for honey be white. 10 hours of enjoyment time or 10 hours of study time. Decide which is more result oriented. I'm just sharing with you a, a small instance of Yoshimite National Park uh, in America. Uh, they just want uh, to uh, give the entire management task to a particular company. And uh, for this task, a Japanese company also uh, uh, given their uh, application. And um, they said, fine, you just go ahead 
and give your proposal they were expecting a propo proposal hardly for 6 months or 1 year or 2 year do you know that this japanese company has given a proposal for for how many 150 years 100 more than 150 years that's american company has gone out of mind that uh, see exactly uh, their vision their vision can be understood so ladies and gentlemen pain of discipline in present or pain of regret in future i am telling you pain of discipline in present or pain of regret in future choice is yours choice is yours rule 16 work in definite or fixed time when you are working on a different uh, in, in in a fixed time you will come to know that that your biological clock get, is getting activated if you are just waking up uh, like 3 uh, o'clock automatically your like uh, you will wake up at 3 o'clock there is no watch uh, which is just uh, um, ringing you up right there is a biological clock inside you right there was a food experiment which is done done in russia i think and that was that a dog is been given uh, food for 10 years continuously 11 am in the morning and in and, and, uh, on next day after 10 years it has been found that inside his body the enzymes digestive enzymes and juices are uh, uh, came inside his stomach uh, at that point of time see the power of uh, biological clock right rule 17 move on to work without doubting your goal you cannot make print of your footsteps ladies and gentlemen by sitting on it if you want to make your footstep you will have to travel right for this you will have to move on uh, tulsi das ji has said a very uh, relevant uh, quote into it that sakal padarth hai jag mahi karm hi nar pavat nahi nelson mandela when he was into jail for 27 years is been by, is been asked by a correspondent over there that uh, sir have you haven't you ever uh, frustrated uh, of this politics he said no the uh, correspondent said that due to this politics you will ha you uh, had to face this uh, jail for 27 years nelson has given a very nice reply he said i never have doubted on my goal even one time right rule 18 manage yourself as an average every employee waste 30 minutes of 30 minutes of his time for searching a file or document in every offices it has been observed it is like uh, it is uh, surveyed right and researched and found that 30 minutes they waste for just finding out the documents or a file because they have just kept it uh, uh, relentlessly right manage your life by having balanced food avoiding stress and anxiety exercising your body as well as your brain too synoptically i am telling you if you want to live long life just try to uh, follow these things right see uh, disease is also a kind of mismanagement because it is disease disease means means you are not in the state of remaining in ease that's why it is disease right so if you are going to meet uh, somebody take an appointment take your time otherwise your time will be wasted or it can happen that the concerned person will not be available to just uh, just uh, have a meeting with you and your entire day could be wasted so whenever you are going to meet someone just take the appointment and then go your entire day will be uh, saved and your time will be saved so ladies and gentlemen these were the most important 18 rules i have just shared with you along with the stories and uh, these are life transforming and i would suggest that uh, um, uh, that um, finally i will request you that uh, first thing that please subscribe um, my channel right um, to get uh, like it and also like like my channel and uh, so that you will be able to get the notifications for all, all the uploaded videos right i have started it 
and uh, I'm not having that much of infrastructure right now. But uh, um, I just want to uh, share my views. Right, uh, I'm basically an author, and uh, finally, I will suggest all of you to order uh, these two books. These are very relevant books, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Success and you, I have written in eleven for uh, uh, in eleven years, and I have uh, done lot of research, right, and uh, for doing or uh, uh, for chalking uh, uh, down this wonderful stuff. Uh, my relations also uh, got affected because this this is this was a psychological this this is a book which is based on some psychological facts and figures but i have just applied all the uh, practical examples and applied my philosophies applied um, uh, all the uh, like uh, uh, practical observations i did it on my uh, people nearby so i am really thankful to all of them right uh all the brothers sisters uh, cousins uh, all around because these uh, because what i did it uh, uh, this was uh, before giving them uh, prior intimation there was no advanced uh, notice given to them that i am just trying my uh, views on them uh, so um, finally <laughs> my relations also got affected but uh, no worries no worries when you are going to do something very important and relevant you will have to just pay the price for uh, it and uh, the most important thing is if you are a nice human being you need not have to prove it your actions will prove it in future and another thing is uh, success and you is a five star rated book available on amazon and flipkart and other uh, online platforms and my second book that is journey from mediocrity to excellence on demand in different uh, uh, platforms uh, and uh, seminars uh, there were so many who just requested me to write down a book in hindi also so journey from mediocrity to excellence has also been interpreted in hindi so you can get the book also uh, this book also and this is also a life transforming psychological book so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much thank you bye bye take care have a nice day and uh, khuda hafiz thank you